My good friend Paul from WP Touch did a review of the WordPress management plugin called WP Remote. Now that plugin is managed by the Blog Vault team and I've done videos on them and their Malke and their Morpheus plugin and I was fully aware of the WP Remote plugin but I delved into it a bit deeper a while ago and I am now transitioning all of my websites that I manage onto this platform. I've already gone and upgraded to the pro plan for 20 websites. Now I want to stop you right now. This is a paid plugin but please don't get scared by this because I'm going to give you an amazing offer that I've worked out with the WP Remote team. The link is in the video description. You can get five sites on the basic plan, which is $299 a year, or you could go for monthly and it's $29 a year. But if you want to go for five sites on the basic plan, which is $299 per year, you use that link and you will get it for the first year for free. And I want to make absolutely clear, I do not make any affiliate commissions at all from this. $299 wiped out for the first year. Why would you not want to try this out? Anyway, let me get back to WP Remote. How does WP Remote compare to InstaWP? Is WP Remote a better choice? In my opinion, yes, which is why I'm transitioning all of my websites over to it. Let's just have a discussion about InstaWP versus WP Remote. There's a quick summary on the screen right now, but I'm going to try and break it down for you. Now, InstaWP is like a quick sandbox environment. In effect, it's like a staging tool where you're creating temporary sandboxes for your WordPress websites. This is great when you're testing small scale changes or you're just exploring some brand new WordPress feature or a new plugin. It's great for that. WP Remote, on the other hand, is great for freelancers, agency, WordPress website administrators, where you're having to manage and monitor multiple websites at the same time. Don't you want to be able to get to your machine or even on your phone maybe and kind of boot it up and get a full comprehensive review or view of your website in terms of uptime, in terms of updates, in terms of malware and all of these things. And that's where WP Remote's got your back with a centralized dashboard for backups, updates, security alerts. And this is great for businesses seeking consistent site performance and security. Talking about security, InstaWP does lack advanced security features. And that's because it's focused primarily on development than live site management. WP Remote integrates robust security monitoring, providing insights into potential vulnerabilities and alerts for suspicious activity. Trust me, when you're managing loads of websites and your clients are paying for maintenance plans, you need to be so on top of the security aspect. InstaWP offers limited or in some cases no backup solution. WP Remote offers scheduled backups with easy one-click restores essential for any website owner or agency to safeguard against data loss, especially if you're an e-commerce website, okay? There are some people out there still running weekly or daily backups. What is wrong with you? You gotta make sure you're running them so much more regularly. Let me now do a quick walkthrough of WP Remote. I've already upgraded to the 20 sites pro plan and I would not have done that if I was not convinced, okay? Believe me, this is the centralized dashboard. And I've got six websites on here at the moment. I will very quickly go through what we have. And if we look at my six sites, I've got some of my main ones like Learn Web Squadron and Web Squadron as well. And I've got some test websites because I really did want to test it out. You can see over here that it says hacked for one of them. And over here we have warnings. I'm going to come back and show you what we do about that. By the way, that is not my actual CSS course website. Okay, that is just a dummy fake website I loaded on there because I wanted to show you how good this is. So on the dashboard across all of my websites, I can see there are seven plugins that need updating. And it tells me if it affects one site or multiple websites. You can see there is a score here. That's because it's saying that I am way out of date. I can see that my WordPress version is updating, my themes, or I could just look at them all in one go. Let me just go back to the plugins one. I could, if I want, just click that and then click update and it will update it for that particular website, which was the learn.websquadron one. 
or I could go to this one over here which was Elementor and I could decide on am I going to update it on one website or on multiple websites or I might want to run an update on all of them but I still have the power to go well don't touch that particular website. How versatile and easy is that? Why do we have this low risk update option? And when you click it, it's removed some of the plugins. That's because of the risk uh, severity of the scoring that we have. Take this Elemental Pro one. It is saying to me that this particular website you've not updated for a while. I like to wait a bit before I update on certain websites. So it's saying to me there's a potential chance that things might change or break. So you've got to take something into consideration. Now, WP Remote has got your back because it creates an update before it does the plugin. There are various levels to this, but I will show you in a moment. If you don't want to monitor every website in one go and you want to give special love and care to a particular website or you've got a client where they're paying a premium for maintenance or monitoring, I could go into that website once you've gone through sites and I can now see my site is clean, firewall enabled, are there any updates, what's happened with the activity log. I can even see the performance down here as well. And I know some of you are going to say, why is it only 72? Hey, that website's got a lot of stuff going on on a daily basis. Things added, things removed. You can even add Google Analytics as well. This is really, really good. It even tells me since I added it, I got four backups. In fact, let me just go in and show you down here. It's going to tell me about what's happening again in terms of activity. And I can scroll down here and I now have my individual backups and I can restore any point whenever I want. Look, you've got the option down here. You can either do restore, test restore. You can even download as well or even migrate the backup to somewhere else. I'm a big believer in efficiency and making sure things are intuitive. And that's what I got here. I didn't have to sit there second guessing or even going over to get the help documentation. That was massively important to me. Let's go over to this website where it says there's a warning and it says there's one vulnerable plugin. I could either click that or I could go into the website and I could then go to security and firewall. If I'd click the warning, it would have kind of bypassed this and gone straight into the review security. There's multiple ways you can go. So let's go and click review security. Let's now view that plugin and it's the advanced custom fields pro plugin. Now this one I have not updated for a while because that was one I was using on a test demo website. So I now need to make a decision over, do I go and upgrade the license? Do I get rid of it? But there could be multiple websites that if you've got out there where you've got clients where you haven't actually updated in a while, you might not have touched it for a year. Did you disable the auto updates? Has a license run out? And it's, you know, for some premium plugins, if the license not renewed, or the client's not paid for it, that plugin is not updating with the latest version. And that's a big security risk. Now I know what you're thinking, what about this particular test website that says it's been hacked? Let's go into it. It says the site has been hacked. And that's because I clicked it. If I had clicked on the actual site, again, you would see it over there. Site is hacked. Let's go and click that. It says three malicious files found. Now, that particular test website is built on the tastewp.com staging site. I was just using that. And I have had this problem occur with them before. So what I'm going to do is just click clean all malware. And once you've entered in some details, that would then clean it up for you. If we go back to the learn.websquadron website, I want to show you how good it is with regards to staging sites and when you do run an update and how it does what's known as like a visual comparison between what you had before and what you had afterwards. Because this is significantly important as to why this plugin, or when I saw these features, I was like, I've got to get that. And big thanks to Paul, because when he did his video, and I had heard about WP Remote and I was looking at it, but I didn't fully appreciate how amazingly powerful this is. How many times have you gone and run an update and you it, everything looks okay? You know, the updates run fine. There doesn't seem to be any conflict. But what if there was a change on your page and you overlook that until you, the client or a user reports it? You don't want to get caught out with that. So what I'm going to do for this particular website is I'm just going to go and click add staging site. And once it's done, you can go into your staging website and make your necessary changes. I've jumped over to one of my test websites, the one that had the ACF Pro bit. Now, Rank Math WooCommerce are out of date and they need updating. Let me show you the really cool bit about the backups. So I'm going to activate both of them to be updated. This is for one particular website, not from the centralized dashboard. What I'm going to show you wouldn't make any difference whether you did it here or for an individual website. 
I will then click update and I get given some options. The first one is quick update. So what it will do is it will just go and do the update or you could go for a safe update. This will take a backup of your website, then it runs the update and then it will show you a visual comparison of before and after. So did something shift? Did something disappear? Maybe your menu went a bit funny or maybe an icon or an animation. Something is now no longer looking the same. This is seriously a lifesaver. And then we got the sandbox update, which is like the safe update, but it goes a step further. So it creates a backup and then it runs the update in a sandbox area. You then get the visual comparison and then you get asked to decide on do you now want to implement it? So are you happy with what the comparison shows you and there's no issues? Do you now want to apply it? So it creates an extra safety measure. How many WordPress management tools out there do you know give you that facility? So what we're going to do for now though is just do a safe update. So we're going to click update and there we go. It's done the update. It's given me a before and after. I can go and click it and I can see the before and after and there is 0% difference. This is probably wasn't the best website to test this on because this is just my test website where I create tutorials and things. But imagine you've got a busy website and you've got three or four plugins updated and some of them like are third party add-ons or something, you know, that is being shown on the homepage. If something is affected, it will tell you it here. The assurance I get by it doing this is immense. I can go to any of my websites and I could add in new administrators. I could even schedule auto updates if I want. Not always a good idea, but you could do. I may want to schedule some reporting. Maybe you've got clients on a maintenance plan and you want them to know what you're doing. So I could create a brand new report. I could decide on what's going to be included. You know, if you're going to put a custom logo, custom image and all of that kind of details, I mean, you can schedule it. And what you'll then get is a report that either is for you and your website, or maybe you can send on to a client. Like I said, monthly maintenance plan. What are you actually giving them? They don't give you any updates. Do they ever hear from you? And I've saved the best to last. So on this test website, if I go to where it says plugins and I click manage, I can see all the plugins that are currently installed. And I've got loads of options for update, activate, deactivate, delete, and all of that. And you can pick and choose. But look at the option over here called add new. What do you think that does? I type in malcare. I'm now accessing the WordPress repository. So I can go and install a new plugin. And you could be doing this on multiple websites. And because I've gone for a safe install, Install. What it's going to do is create a backup, install it, and then give me a visual comparison. How many times have you got a website and you go, oh, I'm going to install three plugins on there or two because I need to do X, Y, Z. And you go and install, you go and activate, and then you're going through the settings. But at no point have you gone and checked your home page because you've installed it, you've activated. Now you're going through the settings. And for maybe 10, 15 minutes, your home page may have been like, Bleh! gone all over the place. Wouldn't it have been nice to know about that and to have a backup so that if now you had to quickly restore or whatever you could do? This is a lifesaver. There are other WordPress management tools out there, but if you want solid security and you want to manage your plugin, your themes, your updates, your staging and all of that from a single dashboard, you got to give WP Remote a go. Take advantage of this super exclusive link I've got in the video description. No affiliate, no commission whatsoever for me. Go and get the basic plan, five websites. You're saving yourself $299 a year or $29 a month. And I want to touch on a subject that some people do raise. $299, how do I afford that? If you've got clients and you're managing the websites for them, they will be paying you a maintenance fee or something like that. Divvy that up between the websites, okay, so that you get something back for it. But for the first year, go and sign up. The visual comparison alone is worth it. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time.